Right, hello guys, this is Donny. Um, first of all, yes, I do have a cold. I'd like to thank my dad for that. Secondly, the uh, jump tutorial I did a while back uh, got a few views and I kind of realised an even better way of doing it. So, um, <laughs> it's, it's like 100 times better than the way I've done it before. So, this is it, first of all. Um, if the character... Uh, like walks off an edge boom he's, he's gonna fall a lot faster it's not that floaty whatever it is you know that's trash and then this jump as well so if I hold down the space bar you know he jumps higher if I like tap it there's, there's a little jump and stuff like that right first of all I want to show you this um, this is like basically gravity because as you can see in this uh, wrong one uh, this is how uh, gravity actually works, but uh, we ain't about that life here, we make video games. So we want this one, this is um, more like the Mario jump, so as you can see, you know, start there, and then you, like, you'll hold the button down as he goes up, and then after a short period of time it will just fall straight down. That's the way most games do it, that's how like Mario and stuff originally did it. Um, and that's a good way of doing it, and that's how I'm going to show you. That's what I'm going to show you to do today. So basically, as you can see, this already looks a hundred times simpler than my last one, and that's because it is. So we'll start off. Um, you press the jump button, so you know you have to jump there, and you're going to go into a timeline. So to get the timeline, I right click, search for timeline. Add a timeline, boom. So then you name it. And then what we'll do is we'll go into the timeline. As you can see, I've pressed the add float track button, added a float. So at zero seconds, the gravity scale will be at one because standard default. Then um, towards the end, I've put it 0 0.3 seconds. I've got it up to a value of five. And then I've put another one in here just to be a curve, just so it's sort of, um, there's a bit, you know, there's a bit of a curve to it. It doesn't go like straight away. But uh, the good thing about this is you can adjust it however you like and you'll get the jump that you want. You know, it's very um, good, good for, um, it's very flexible, that's the word, flexible. And you can tell I've not written a script or anything. Um, it's very flexible. You can adjust this how you like. You can even have the uh, gravity scale be like lower, so you, it is a bit more floaty. You can have it higher, so you you don't even really jump. Um, up to you. So you're gonna go from the jump into your timeline. So then you've got this was your float track from your timeline. And then we're gonna get the character movement. So how you get that is you can just go up to the top left here, drag character movement. Boom, and just type in set gravity scale like that and you're basically just gonna plug the value of from the timeline into there now on the release uh, basically you're gonna do the same with the character movement except you're just gonna set it straight to 4.5 or 5 or whatever number you pick and then um, I put it into the stop timeline, but to be honest, I don't think it really changes anything, so I wouldn't worry about that too much, but boom. So there's your basic jump. Now what you need to do, which is very important, is on landed. So um, on landed is a default um, event in Unreal anyway. So you just type in on landed. You're gonna get that event pop up. And then I just set the scale back to one and that sets it, that resets it, so when you land uh, this whole bit here has just reset. Now for the walking off the edge because um, clearly if you have the jump you know yeah the jump's good but the second you walk off an edge it's still gonna be floaty it's still not gonna be uh, good so um, I've made a little thing here so on the event begin play I've set a timer by function name I've got the time at 0 0.1 and I've got it looping. 
Now you could use an event tick, but um, um, as I've been told in forums and stuff, uh, don't use the event tick ever, apparently. So um, it's better just to do it this way. And I've made a function called isFall, and all it's doing is a branch that checks is the character falling, which I got from character movement. So all, all you have to do is collect that, type is falling, and it will pop up. True, set gravity scale to 4.5 or whichever you pick. And then, honestly, that is it. I'm trying to think as well. If you wanted to add a double jump to this, um, which like I'm not actually going to do, but all you have to do is quickly just add a branch on your is pressed, and then you can just do a check is falling. I say I'm not going to do it, and I'm doing it. Boom. So on false, you plug that into the normal, and that will work the normal way. Is falling if it's true that's where you do your double jump so I would make first I'd make a variable um, which would be a jump counter which would be an integer uh, I know I'm doing this quickly I'm assuming you already know what to do uh, well I'm assuming you already know how to use Unreal Engine a bit so you do that you check you get Another branch. Uh, put it up here. Move this out of the way. Uh, let's say you check if it is greater or equal to integer. I'm just going to put it, I think, I think I can get away with just putting it at 1. And then what I can do is if it's true, don't do anything. If it's false, I can launch character just up in the air a bit. Uh, <coughs> that's just a guess of the Z value. And then after that, um, I could do a set jump counter. One, and then I think I'd be able to just plug it straight into there, and then I'd still get the same jump gravity effect. Um, and then it's important as well on the landed, you set it back to zero. So do do do. And then make sure the jump counter is yep at zero. You know a, a better way of doing this, because if you wanted to have a triple jump, you could um, be just adding the one like that, and then you could really just set that to a higher number. So if we compile and save, go into our game. Let's see if that works. Oh, there you go. Boom. And then you've got your fall, and then you've got your jump also a double jump which I would tweak a bit because I tweak the gravity scale I might put another timeline for that one depending on what you want really but yeah that's it